people relapse. Best explanation of addiction with potato chips. Re Resilient Recovery Ministries posted this really wonderful video on YouTube of an interview with Dr. Lepke, the author of the book Dopamine Nation, which I'm going to encourage you to watch. I, we enjoy using their materials, fellow Lutherans like us, and, and also the honesty of that material. He, because knowing what's wrong and finding motivation to change are very different. It, this interesting image that, that, that sometimes we can know that a certain behavior is wrong, we can know that certain lifestyle is wrong, and yet it's just really, really hard to change. And the way that Dr. Lepke describes in her book, Dopamine Nation, how we do seek a fix. And whether our fix comes from food or sex or work or drugs or alcohol or whatever, we seek this dopamine fix. And sometimes it's not enough to know something is wrong. You need motivation to really change. Where can you find lasting motivation for change? Psalm 102. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. To you. I admit when I look myself in the mirror, I don't always like what I see. You probably don't either. And after another day or week or weekend of sinful behavior, I go, gosh, I, I know better. I know I shouldn't do this, but the finding motivation to change, I don't find it inside of me. No matter how many motivational sayings you give, no matter how pumped up I feel, a week, a month, whatever go by, and you can be back to those same sins. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. That I can admit to the Lord, I need help. I've relapsed again into sin. I'm sorry. Hear me. Help me. I'm not alone in this. This isn't my struggle against my brain and my own sinful flesh, which I'm not going to win, right? Lord, hear me. Hear my cry for mercy. When you're looking for motivation, you're looking really for mercy from a loving God who gives it to us, who's kind and compassionate, slow to anger, abounding in love. Someone who would know just how bad I am and how bad you are and still love and still be merciful and still be kind. This is mercy that we cry out to him for in our recovery, in our relapse, in our problems. We cry out again and again and God listens again and again and he provides mercy. You can't do life alone and you can't do it well, certainly. No one said we cry out to the Lord for mercy and he helps us in our weakness and in our struggles.